you know, Howard, people ask me, um, like, what do you think is going on and what is the tension here? What's at stake? And there are many things and I can be much more articulate that, than what I'm going to say. But ultimately, I do believe that this is an election that is about strength versus weakness. Yeah. And weakness as projected by someone who puts himself in front of the American people and does not have the strength to stand in defense of their needs, their dreams, their desires, the work that must happen to make sure that we are a secure nation, that we are nurturing and protecting our alliances around the world, that we are supporting America's military, that we are fighting to bring the cost of living down for working families, that we are building businesses, building growth. Did you ever think in your lifetime you would see a Republican not supporting NATO and wanting to disassemble NATO? I mean, what, what world are we living in? And this NATO, is all weird. NATO, which is the greatest military alliance the world has ever known. It's what my you father's general... about strength? Yeah. That is strength. To embrace that alliance as America, as Americans, and he would walk away because he admires dictators... Well, what did you More think? More than he does. What did you think of this allies. thing that just came out today? That Bob Woodward's book was saying that Trump was sending COVID tests to Putin and Putin said, don't let anyone know. I mean, what is going on? What do you make of that? So I actually said it even in the debate. I believe that Donald Trump has this desire to be a dictator. He admires strong men. And he gets played by them because he thinks that they're his friends. Yeah. And they are manipulating him full time, manipulating him by flattery. Yeah. And with favor. And so in the midst, to your point, as reported by Bob Woodward, in the height of the pandemic, and remember, and your listeners will remember, people were dying by the hundreds. Yeah. Everybody was scrambling to get... These kits, the tests, the, the, the COVID test kits. You couldn't get them. Couldn't get them. Right. Couldn't get them anywhere. Right. And this guy who is president of the United States is sending them to Russia to a murderous dictator for his personal use. 